Hello DTS pilots, Hornet drivers and anyone else who may be interested. Welcome to this video on the spin recovery switch in the F-18. In a nutshell, the spin recovery switch will remove all the limitations placed upon the pilot by the FCS system on the F-18. It is the flight control computer that is preventing the pilot from crashing the plane, basically. And in order to achieve this, it prevents the pilot doing certain moves and restricts them. However, we can override that using the spin recovery switch. That's what this video is all about. So strap in, be prepared, have your stick back ready. Here we go. Hello, welcome to the Hornet. And we're going to do a couple of tricks here with this little bit of fuel left. I've got my spin recovery switch open, uh, the cover there, and I've got the switch bound. And we're going to look at doing a, uh, a hammer kite type move. So let's pull up to the vertical and press spin recovery. Look to the left, power on to the right engine, a little bit of power on the left, trying to nurse it over the top, using the stick to try and prevent it spinning out. Once we go over, invert the uh, two throttles so that you don't slice through the bottom like a pendulum. And there we go. We've got a recovery-ish and spin recovery off. Let's put both burners on. Let's try that again, but a little higher this time. So once more up to the vertical. Let's take the burners off, put spin recovery on. Be careful, uh, stand, be ready to push forward on the stick. You can see you require that forward push once you've got spin recovery. And let's to the left once more. I'm starting to just put a little just allow me to interject in post editing here. If we freeze frame and take a look on the heads up display in the far right corner of the screen, we can actually see what the problem here is. The nose was actually way past vertical. We were about 70 degrees over the other side, or should I say we were 20 degrees over past the vertical going down the other side. So that's why this move screwed up uh, burners on the right a little early wrestling with the stick trying to prevent it spinning out and that time we lost it never mind our uh, spin recovery off when spin recovery is off be prepared to push uh, forward slightly on the stick you'll notice that the uh, fcs will want to do that and as we rotate down let's do the recovery here get that override get the spin recovery switch in power on i'm holding my uh, override with the spin recovery on nice slow slow loop keeping it on if it feels like it's spinning out you've got to play with your throttles because your flight controls you need to keep those wings level up to the vertical and again the only way that you can yaw is using differential throttle and that's going to be how we escape that move. Spin control off. Now we're back to uh, regular controls. Yeah, check that we've got a bingo on uh, 500. Burn us off. Let's try one more time up to the vertical. Spin recovery on. Going to look to the right and burners on the left side. Right rudder in. Burners off. Recovery. Spin off. Spin on. Opposite burners preventing that, preventing that yaw from continuing into a uh, stall spin. And when we're in the vertical, what we can actually do is use the uh, rudder in combo with the uh, differential throttles and the spin control to burn a balance in here. It's going well. Nicely done. And spin control off. Recover. And last but not least, before we completely run out of fuel, let's uh, 
Let's get rid of the smoke and do an inverted pass with uh, dirty config. I've done this on the aerobatics server so many times that it's funny seeing people copy because you know what's going to happen. If they don't press that button, they're going to slam into the ground. Yeah, that's how it is. And so with the speed low enough, let's go gear down. Let's put the air brakes out. Get that rotation with the uh, spin recovery. And let's see how slow we can get it. So we've got spin recovery, we've got the gear out, we've got the uh, air brake out. Let's try and get a quick F2. There we are, that's what's going on. Looks like we're going to have to escape that one. Still got the spin recovery, don't let go of that. Up we go, Let's see, can we get another one in? Don't think so. I think we're out of fuel at this point. Okay, gear in, speed brakes in. Keep the spin on. Turn the spin recovery off. Again, it, it when you play with the spin recovery switch on off, you'll you'll start to get the hang of when is it best to use it and when not. And you will use it in uh, PvP on uh, guns and. Uh, even when it's Fox 2s. Trust me on that. You uh, you get a couple of extra angles just for a split second. All right, it's going to burn up all your speed in the process. But sometimes, what would you do to get 45 degrees angles on someone for a couple of seconds when the speed's low? And that's, that's what that switch is right there. Do you know what? We've got gear down. We've got flap down. We're coming into land. Let's press it. Override burners on. Up to the vertical. Wheels out. Rolling it off. Yeah, copy that. Bingo. So there you go. That's the sort of thing that you can do with a spin recovery. Uh, try doing a loop with gear out without that spin recovery and using, what, 2,000 feet? <laughs> Good luck with that. So that's... Uh, what is the spin recovery? It basically uh, removes almost all the limitations that the FCS places on you when flying the uh, F-18. And it basically makes for... An, as far as you and I are concerned, it turns it into a completely different plane. That's the simplest way to put it. The way it flies is completely different. Just be careful. It is very easy to, with all the uh, up updates with respect to the uh, wings breaking and so on, it is very easy to snap the wings off, uh, especially when you're inverted with that switch. And so with that done, this video slowly coming to an end. I have a big video in the works, a complete F-18 cold and dark startup tutorial. Not just how to get the engines running, not just how to get the systems on, not just how to prepare it for battle, but all of those start to finish with all the latest updates incorporated. A video like that has been long overdue, and so I look forward to putting that out in the next couple of days. So until next time, wherever in the world you may be, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night.